Sister Stan, can you tell me a little bit about Focus Ireland? It's, it's 25 years since uh, you set it up first, and can you tell me how times have changed uh, in your experience in that time? Mm. When I set it up 25 years ago, there was practically no services for homeless people and very little awareness of homelessness. So it was a whole new thing. To, there was nothing except um, dinner centres, mostly for men, and a few hostels, mostly for men. Nothing else. So it was a whole new move to bring other services right on the street, as it were, to meet people where they are. And so we started with, with nothing, and we rented the premises here in Eustace Street, um, and I spent a year with eight women to try and understand the situation more, and then we opened the door. And when we opened the door, people started to come. Since then, the service has grown enormously. It, is, um, uh, it has grown in, in every sense. We now have uh, we now have over 300 staff, more more than that of volunteers. We have projects all over the country, not only in Dublin, different parts of Dublin, but all over the country. And we house about 600 people, and we deal with people every day. So we deal with about 5,000 people every year. So the, the organisation has grown and developed, and has got deeper, and it was a deeper understanding of homelessness. So that part is great. However, the situation is not any easier than what it was 25 years ago. There are actually more people homeless. There are more people in housing waiting lists. Um, and there's greater poverty, and, and, and people, people who are homeless come into that whole poverty net. So the situation is worse, the challenge is harder, and now in this, with this economic recession, it is actually harder than even it was in the 80s. So it, it, is, it is a tough ba battle, but, but we're there, and we're there as a strong organisation. And what are the biggest challenges faced uh, by the people that you meet every day? Oh, sure, there are huge challenges. There are huge challenges about, you know, where will they get something to eat? Where will they get, get, where will they get a, a place to sleep? At the moment, it's a situation where there aren't enough emergency accommodation. There isn't enough emergency accommodation. And the statutory bodies and the voluntary are giving out sleeping bags to people. Now, that is, that is ridiculous this day and age. So that's a huge challenge. So people who are out there are saying, does anybody care? Does anybody care that I, that whether I'm hungry or not? Does anybody care whether I have a house or not? Does anybody care if I die tonight? So that's the way they live their lives. So I suppose what we're trying to do is really really reach out to them with our outreach workers on the street, reach out to them through the, the, the coffee shop here on Newton Street, to John Glen West, which we opened just last week, where we have a, a a continuation of this work in the evening up to 8 o'clock and through our support in housing and to our housing. So I think we are very much uh, reach, bringing the whole situation to where people are and uh, it's, it's working really well but we really would be saying uh, to the government, look, you need to look at the housing. You need to look at the homes for long-term housing. It is manageable. You, it can be, if you had 3,000 units of accommodation, you would house the long-term homes. And once you have cracked that, you, 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 that, would, that is hugely important. Then you can tackle the other housing issues. But go for them first. They are the most needy, and it is possible, and, and really you can make a dent on the whole situation.